Hey guys, it's Star the Flippin' Hippo. Thank you for joining us on our YouTube channel. Today is Monday, August 20th, which means it's time for one thing and one thing only. It's time for what sold on eBay. So you guys get to look at Sad Sam for a minute while I give you the spiel. I'm gonna try to do this one real quick tonight. I don't wanna keep people too long. I know we're all working really, really hard um, revving up for Q4. So sales have been up and down again um, last weekend was amazing you guys remember we had nearly 40 packages go out last monday and then um tuesday was a really big day for us and then they started to peter off from there and this weekend was not so great so we had 11 packages go out the door on tuesday 10 of ebay sales one posh and then wednesday we had eight sales total with seven packages so we had a person who bought two things and Wednesday we had five packages only, four eBay, one Posh. And Friday we had seven packages, six eBay sales, one Posh. And then for the weekend from Friday until today, we had 27 items sell. So 26 packages, one guy did buy two shirts. And uh, 23 of those sales were eBay and four of those sales were Posh. Now, as far as Posh is concerned, a typical weekend for us, we do four to six, somewhere in there. So the Posh sales are kind of right on par. 23 for eBay for us is pretty low. Um, we are usually at least in the 30s, if not pushing 40. Our record is 46. So, I, I don't know. It's a combination of things, I think. Um, but we're not going to let it get us down. We're going to keep listing. We're going to keep grinding it. And we're going to get ready for Q4 because that's all you can do. Um, online sales and reselling is a business that will have its ups and downs. And that's why it's smart when you have the up times and extra money to, you know, put, go ahead and put it away, build up a savings account, build up some capital in the bank in your business account. And then when you have the slow times, you can survive. And that's just how you have to do it. Um, I think everyone has times that are low and times that are high. And it's just pretty normal. So um, we're just going to keep going and keep listing and keep getting through our death piles here and revving up for Q4. We're going to be doing some reorganizing and um, setting up a... Oh, look, something just sold on eBay, on Posh. Something just sold on Posh. You all see that? That's really cool. So we're setting up a new eBay room. We're going to be doing some reorganizing. I'm probably going to film most of it and then show you guys the finished product in like a little video um, diary of our reorganizing and getting ready for Q4. And everybody, yay, I just had a posh sale. Woohoo! All right, so I'm going to show you the highlights of the week. Just some things that I, I want to show that sold. Um, this is an academics t-shirt. I showed it in my um, shared haul video on Alma's channel, My Thrifted Escape, about, it'll be two weeks ago this Wednesday. And then it went into the store probably three days after the haul. So this was not in the store for very long at all. And I said in the haul video on Alma's channel, this is a really good brand for men's plus size. Um, they make really large sizes and they, they don't go for a lot of money, but they go really fast. And so when we find them for 99 cents, of course we pick them up. This is the first one we've ever had that was new with tags. Um, it was brand new with tags. It was 99 cents at Goodwill. Uh, usually the used ones will go for 14, sometimes 12, but they always sell within like a week or two of being put up. And I think it's because they have the large, this one's just an extra large, but we've had up to like a six XL and a men's shirt in this brand. It just seems to move really fast. And if you're looking for that fast nickel, this is a good brand. Um, if you can pick it up for like a buck or two, this one, we accepted a best offer of 16. Um, and we were happy with that. The, um, guy that bought it also bought another shirt so we got to save on shipping and we like multiple orders and we usually will cut them a better deal give them a little bit more off than we you know if somebody had just wanted this shirt i probably would have tried for 18 but he bought two so that was cool this shirt has been around forever ever 
I bought this last summer. It was 99 cents. Um, it was really hard to comp. It is a Ringling Museum of Art t-shirt, like official from the John and Mabel Ringling Museum of Art. It was hard to comp. I believe I ended up finding it on Posh or Macari or somewhere. And I started it out at like 40, I think. It's been around. It's gone down 5% every month. And I just, I decided I was just going to sit on it and just bring the price down until it sold. I never had a best, best offer on it or anything. And then finally today it sold for $20.37. Um, so this is a good example of how I can be with my slow dimes. These are pretty cool. These are um, Hot Topic jeans. The brand is Blackheart. They are ombre and they are ripped and destroyed and distressed all that good stuff people look for they've been around for a couple of months um i think the reason they're new with tags too um i think the reason these took so long to sell as you could see they were junior size three so the smaller sizes do take a little bit longer these started out at 25 dollars and they went for 22.56 today i was pleased with that um, 99 cents. These were 99 cents at our local honey pot. These Kellogg cereal balls, it's a set of four and the set includes two can Sam, the rooster from the corn flakes, Tony, the tiger from frosted flakes and snap crackle and pop from rice krispies. I got two sets of four at a yard sale for a dollar for all eight. Um, so just with this first set selling, they did pay shipping on it because they weighed more than a pound all packed up in a box. Um, Nine dollars, give or take profit on this, less, less fees and um, cost of goods. And now the second set will be pure profit because I've already made that dollar back and nine dollars on top of that. So the, I'm really happy that these went as quickly as they did. They have not been in the store for even a month. Um, I kind of get the feeling though, like the first set went really quick and then I'm gonna have to sit on the second one for a while, but that's okay because it will be pure profit. These are super cute. I was actually tempted to keep one set for ourselves. Um, Keith and I eat a lot of cereal. We really enjoy our cereal. Sometimes we eat it for like a snack at night or lunch. We just really like cereal and I thought these were cute. I was tempted to keep them for us for cereal bowls, but uh, my love of money um, beat out my need for cute bowls to eat my cereal from. Oh, this thing, this is so cute. It is a Minnie Mouse coffee mug. Look at her, she's got little hearts and a bow. And on the one side of the mug is the front of Minnie and on the back is the back of Minnie. It came with a warmer. So it's an electric warmer with the coffee mug and the warmer's black and hot pink. It matches mini and the cup. It The box was kind of damaged, um, kind of beat up a little bit. I believe I just said that. Yeah, the box shows minor wear increasing. Um, but it was new in box. And I said in the listing that we just took the items out to take the photos. It was brand new, never opened in the box and you can see the warmer was still wrapped in its plastic with the twisty tie on it and everything we paid two dollars for the city yard sale and it's been around for it's been around for a while it was like in a death pile but it's been listed in the store for like three weeks it just went on the five percent off sale so like a little over two weeks and it was it started at 18 but it sold for 1710 and they paid shipping and this also went overseas um they bought through the global shipping program and i i know that i tell you guys all the time a lot of my disney stuff goes overseas um they just seem to love that over there this uh stocking is tigger and he came from the yard sale where i bought out the ladies tigger collection i know i did a haul video with all the different Tiggers and um, there was other plush she threw in because like I literally said I want to buy it all and um, he was in that collection I listed him at 18 I know that's where I started him so he has only been in the store for like a week or two 
not that long. He went a little quicker than I expected because he is a Christmas stocking and he has a Santa hat. I thought he would probably stick around and maybe be sold in October, but he went pretty quick and um, they paid the full price for him. I did have him free shipping. He was first class. He had these little um, glass eyes. So what I did to ship him was I kind of tucked his head down inside the stocking and then wrapped the stocking um, around like as a cushion just to protect his eyes, put a little piece of bubble wrap around his head after that, and then I wrapped him in tissue paper real nice and put him in a big poly. Um, I think the average cost of each animal out of that lot was like 77 cents for everything I got for what I paid the lady. So that was a pretty good um, flip. This is Minnie Mouse, as you all can see. Um, she had her original tags from the store and her little high heels with her bows and she's got like polka dots on her dress. She's real cute. I picked her up at the Goodwill and I know I paid like a uh, dollar. I want to say her tag was $1.99, but it was like the color of the week that was half off. I want to say I only paid a dollar. I might have paid two. Um, she is... She is going overseas as well. Somebody else bought her through the Global Shipping Program, so that was kind of neat. We sold two Minnie Mouse items over the weekend to overseas or international buyers. Um, I did get the full asking price of $25 for her, and she shipped out in a box because her ears um, her ears are kind of like cardboardy. Like, they had stuff in there to make them stiff, I guess. And I was worried if we put her in a poly, even with bubble wrap, her ears would get ruined. Um, so we threw her in a box just to protect her. Oh, this is uh, probably the third maybe Sad Sam I've had come and go in my life. Sad Sam is so cute. Um, I had a giant one last summer. I got at a yard sale and he went pretty fast. This one we bought at a yard sale. The very last one we went to before we went to eBay Open in Vegas, as a matter of fact. The Saturday before we left, um, we went to a huge community yard sale uh, where we found, if those of you um, who watched my live shows remember, the Tester Adidas shoes. It was in that community yard sale. And he was a quarter. So I paid a quarter for him. I learned quickly last year with the two Sad Sams I've already been through. He um, is worth, I would have paid, you know, two bucks for him, but she wanted a quarter. I gave her a quarter. And uh, he has been in the store probably going on four weeks. He was coming up to um, his month where he would have come down and he was 5% off. Um, they did pay the $23.75 for him, and he shipped out in a small box as well because he's musical, he plays music, and he had a lot going on here, and we just didn't want him to get any damage, and he had all these tags. This is a Five Nights at Freddy's, as you guys can see. He came out of the uh, basket at my one Goodwill that I always talk about that has the 50 cent animals. Once upon a time, for the long time viewers, you'll remember I used to tell you they were three for a dollar out of that basket, 33 cents a piece. They raised the price a couple months ago to 50 cents a piece. Um, I'm still happy with that, but it was a little bit neater when I could get three animals for a dollar instead of two. But yeah, we paid 50 cents for him. Um, I took a best offer of 10. You can see he has some damage here on his bow where it had come loose. Um, and I mentioned it down below and showed it in the photograph. But, so I was happy. He's real small, like you can see. Well, he, he's like a foot long. But he did ship out like with a little bit of bubble wrap and a poly. And um, I was happy to get the $10 for him. Like I said, I paid 50 cents and he had some damage. This Webkins came with her, her uh, code, sealed. Those of you that are familiar with Webkins, these are a good um, plush to look for. I should have said those of you that are not familiar. This is a really, really good plush to look for. When they have their sealed codes, obviously you can get more money. Depending on the animal, you kind of have to comp it. Um, she was 15 with her sealed code. 
Um, some of them go for a lot more money than that. And some of them without the code go for a lot more money than that. It just really depends on which animal it is. Some are more popular, I think. Some people want the codes for certain ones more. She is cute though, look at her. She's like a, a kiss zebra. <laughs> um, but she came out of the bins, I remember, because there were two of them. There's her, and there was a pink poodle that was a rocker. He is still in our store, by the way, if anybody wants him or her. It's a pink, curly rocker poodle. I got the two of them out of the same bin at the bins. Uh, and by weight, she was probably like 10 cents, maybe. And I got the full 15 for her, and she shipped out in a poly with bubble wrap wrapped around her to protect her little sealed coat. This panda bear came out of the basket at the Goodwill, so he was 50 cents. Um, this is one that my younger son picked out. It's Fiesta. The Fiesta animals, the realistic looking ones like this, I usually do pretty well with. Um, they have a lot of like animal plushies that are like the red pandas and the frogs, just things you don't see as often. I always pick up Fiesta if I can get it for a buck or cheaper. And the red panda comped really high. Um, most people were selling them for about 15, 16, I think when I comped it, if I remember correctly. I started mine at 20, his best offer. And he sat around for about three and a half weeks and went on our, he went on our 5% off sale after two weeks. And then he went for 19. I got the full 19 for him. He shipped in a poly. And here is our best sell of the week. It is a wee. Um, it had a stack of games and a bunch of stuff with it. I'll go through the pictures and show you. We got this at a community yard sale. I believe it was the very first yard sale day of the season back in May. It has been around. Um, it's you got some stuff going on here, but it came with a lot of stuff. We paid $35 for it and everything it came with. Some of the stuff it came with is not sold here in this lot. Some of it he separated and listed separately. And this is what he chose to put in this cell. And that was back in May and uh, 125 for this lot even then was kind of high but he threw best offer on it and we started getting a bunch of low balls on it we just let it sit and it sat for a couple months and then we we recomped it because it's been around like I said since May and we were like what's going on so we recomped it and everything it comes with and um, unfortunately in the last three months since uh, we got it there has definitely been either a race to the bottom or the value of we's have gone seriously down um, so we ended up taking a best offer of 85 and even even Keith and I both felt when it when we recomped it that 85 was a little high so when we got the best offer of 85 we we just took it because um, like I said, whatever happened since we bought this, the prices have gone way down on Wii's and all these accessories and stuff. Um, so we just took the 85 when we got it and ran because we were thinking we were going to have to go down to like 70 or 75. But that is kind of sad because when we first got it, we thought we were going to get 125, but that's okay. We still made money on it. Um, I think that we are passing on Wii's now though. We keep seeing them at yard sales and we're just, I mean, unless somebody's selling a, like something like this for like 10 or 15 bucks, we're just going to pass because, um, I mean like last summer we were spending 20, 25, 30, 35 for kits like this and selling them for kits, lots, sorry. And we were selling them for 125, 150 and more. And so when we went to our first yard sale this year, we picked one up for 35, but, um, no, the prices are way down. So we're going to have to pass on these, um, unless they're like a steal and we'll just keep looking out for the Xboxes and the Playstations. And of course the Guitar Hero guitars, cause those are still good. So let me know in the comments below. Um, how are your sales doing? 
and uh, if you have like a nice big sale like this let me know um, do me a favor smash the like button if you would I really appreciate it if you haven't already and you would like to please subscribe to our channel and help us feed hungry hippo you can find us on Instagram Facebook and Twitter we're at flippin hippos until next time you guys have a good night